Hey everybody, welcome in. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Eureka Math and Engage New York's Grade 4 Module 3 Lesson 6 problem set. And in this lesson, we're going to be looking to multiply two-digit multiples of 10 by another two-digit multiple of 10 um, using the area model. So in problem number one, we're going to use sort of like this place value chart here to sort of illustrate what is uh, what is going on. So number one says, represent the following problem by drawing disks in the place value chart. To solve 20 times 40, think two tens times four. So I see this two tens and I'm immediately going to go ahead and put two in the tens place here. And since I'm multiplying those two tens times four, I need to make four groups of two tens. Two tens is going to be the size of my group, so I need four groups. So there's one group, two groups, three groups, and four groups. And now I need to multiply that by 10. So when I multiply by 10, what I do is I take each of these groups and they hop over to the next largest place value. So when that happens, I multiply by 10. I'm going to do that for each group. And I have two groups, excuse me, four groups of two hundreds. So now I could just look at how many of these dots are in my place value chart, and we're now in the hundreds place. So two tens times four times 10 is equal to, we're going to say that that is, two tens times four is eight tens, and that times 10. So 20 times four times 10 would be 20 times 40, and then 20 times 40 is what I'm modeling over here in my place value chart, which makes 8 in the hundreds place, which is 800. Number two says draw an area model to represent 20 times 40. So usually when I would um, use an area model, I would break these numbers down into their tens and ones. However, in both of these numbers, since they're multiples of tens, I don't have any ones because there's a zero in the ones place. So my area model would probably look something like this. And again, if this was a, like maybe if this was like 43, I would have 40 over here and then another box with you know, the three ones. But since I just have this, this is all I really have to work on. So inside of the box, I'm going to go ahead and write um, 20 times 40. And I'm going to just sort of break down 20 and 40. 20 is two tens. And 40 is four tens. Two times four is eight and when I multiply tens by tens, I get hundreds. So as you can see, number two is the same problem up here as number one. So I should get the same answer, which is eight hundreds, which is 800. So two tens times four tens is equal to eight hundreds. Okay. Let's take a look at number three, and I think I should probably draw a larger uh, square this time for my area model. So let's draw an area model to represent 30 times 40. Let's try something like this, where we'll put 40 on top, put 30 over here on the side, and again, inside we will write 30 times 40, or I could write 40 times 30. Now I'm going to, instead of using the unit form this time, I'm going to use standard form. So I'm just going to break 30 down into 3 times 10, and I'm going to break 40 down into 4 times 10. 
and all of these numbers would be multiplied together. Now, since multiplication is commutative, that means I can multiply these numbers really in any which order. So I could sort of switch around this order here, and I'm going to do that. First, I'm going to multiply 3 times 4, which is 12. And then I'm going to multiply 10 times 10 to make 12 times 10 times 10 being 100. Now I have 12 times 100, which would give me 1,200 or 1,200. So 3 tens times 4 tens is equal to 12 hundreds, because again, tens times tens is what I did when I multiplied 10 times 10 to create hundreds to make 30 times 40, which is again, 1,200. Number four says draw an area model to represent uh, 20 times 50. So again, area model. We'll put 50 up top here, 20 on the side over here. And inside this box, we're multiplying 20 times 50. 20 is 2 tens. Now, again, I could use uniform or I could use standard form here, representing the same thing just in two ways. Times uh, 50. Let me rewrite this. Times 50, which is 5 tens. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times tens is 100 to make 10 hundreds. So 2 tens times 5 tens is equal to 10 hundreds or 10 hundreds is the same as 1,000. 5, 6, 7, and 8 all have the same directions where it says rewrite each equation in a unit form, then solve. So they kind of give us an example here of number 5 of what um, they want. So 20 times 20 would be the same as 2 tens times 2 tens. We see that tens times tens over here makes hundreds. So I just need to multiply two times two, which is four. My unit is hundreds. So 20 times 20 is four in the hundreds place, 400. Over here, we have 60 times 20. 60 is two tens. 20 is equal to, they give us the number 2, but we're using unit form here. So 20 is 2 in the tens place. Tens times tens gives me hundreds. And I need to do 6 times 2, which is 12. Hundreds, which is 1,200 or 12 hundreds. Number seven says 70 times 20. So again, they give us the unit form of tens and tens. So 70 is seven tens, 20 is two tens. And this time they give us 14, and that is what seven times two is. So I know I'm in good shape, but they omit the unit form over here. But we know that tens times tens is equal to hundreds. And 14 hundreds is 1,400. Number eight, they ask us to do basically everything. So if we take a look at some of these prior examples and just what we've been doing before, we should be able to figure out number eight. We're going to take 70, break that down into its unit form, which is seven tens. Now we'll take 30, break that down into its unit form. 30 is 3 tens. Tens times tens gives us hundreds. How many hundreds? Well, we just need to multiply 3, excuse me, 7 times 3, which is 21 
hundreds. So 21 hundreds is the same as 2,100 or 21 hundreds. The last part of the problem set is two word problems. It says if there are 40 seats per row, how many seats are in 90 rows? So this is, again, another just really basic example of what would be a multiplication word problem. We have one number representing our number of groups. We have another number representing the size of the groups. It says if there are 40 seats per row, so 40 is going to be my size. How many seats are in 90 rows? The amount of rows is my number of groups. So there's 90 rows with 40 seats in each row. So I'll use my area model where I am multiplying 90 times 40. Again, break this down into unit form. 90 is 9 tens times 40, which is 4 tens. Tens and tens makes hundreds. How many hundreds? Well, that would come from what 9 times 4 is. And 9 times 4 is 30. Six. So 36 hundreds would be 3,600. So we can say there are 3,600 seats. Um, we'll say in 90 rows. And finally, number 10 says one ticket to the symphony costs $50. How much money is collected if 80 tickets are sold? So we know the cost of one ticket is $50. That's going to be the size of a group. And we want to know how much money is collected if 80 tickets are sold. So every ticket is $50. If we sell 80 of them, 80 would be my number of groups. So again, another very standard multiplication word problem setup. One number is the size of the group. One number is the number of groups. So those two numbers need to be multiplied together. So again, area model. We'll go ahead and we'll put um, 80 over here, 50 over here. Inside, we'll multiply 80 times 50, 80, 8 tens. times 50 is 5 tens. Tens multiplied by tens makes hundreds. 8 times 5 is 40. So we have 40 hundreds or 4,000. So we could say $4,000 collected if 80 tickets are sold. Now, before I end, I just want to really quickly demonstrate, um, you know, 80 times 50 again without the unit form. We'll use standard form. So if I do 80 times 50, what I'm doing here is really breaking 80 down into 8 times 10 and then 50 down into 5 times 10. And those two amounts are being multiplied together. And again, since multiplication is commutative, I can change the order in which I multiply over here. It's actually commutative and associative. We're kind of using both of the properties. So if I multiply 8 times 5, that's where this 40 is coming from. So 8 times 5 is 40. And 10 times 10, again, that's where 10 times 10 is coming from, gives me 100. And 4 times 1 is 4, with 1, 2, 3 zeros on the back. And that's where 4,000 is coming from. 
Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you are liking this content, please consider dropping a like, um, follow, and subscribe to the channel for more um, content like this. See you next time.